so they say we're in a crisis, a Twitter crisis. Well, I don't think it's a Twitter crisis. I think it's an awakening. Even the geese agree. It's an awakening. And the release of number three of the Twitter files. I find it encouraging to be completely honest with you. And uh, brings me to our undisclosed location and uh, what we like to call the circle of life. Only we're not speaking in the terms of mammals. We're actually talking in the terms of biological well, biodiversity is more, more a better a better description. So we are standing in the uh, lumber circle, and this is December the tenth, two thousand twenty-two, and the temperature is a balmy one degree above zero. As you can see, we've got lots of snow <laughs> and we're getting rain, which is rather not unusual up in Canada, but seems more frequent than it used to be. Now on my way to this undisclosed location, I couldn't help but notice there was a lot of FUD that was in and around my presence. Um, first off, let me say thank you to the 78 subscribers to my channel. Thank you for your, your uh, attention, for your input and for your comments. That is those who have made comments and that I have returned those comments in kind. But I think we're looking at a... shift in time when it comes to the human species. I recently watched a video with Rebel News and what they had done is they had sent one of their their journalists to Russia. I thought how interesting. And what they were basically doing is seeing for themselves and for their viewers if Russia is really in a dire state of, of economic collapse or because of the sanctions that are brought on by most of the other G8 countries. You know, it's no different if you really scale it down. There's no difference between a bully in the schoolyard or a bully on earth because you have bullies all around you and for example I think you're well aware that uh, Canada is famous for its coffee and its uh, um, franchise Tim Hortons well to say the least I just had an apple fritter that was the most tasty apple fritter I've ever had but what was interesting is that when I came to stop at the coffee restaurant, I was parked just in front of the drive-thru uh, menus. And I was watching as one driver was coming just around the corner to make an order. And to my surprise, this individual who was male had his phone out and was pointed directly at me, but he had it partially hidden. And each time I glanced over in his direction, he would turn away. Now, I don't really take that as anything menial, but it does tell you that there is a lot of fud going on in the world, and even in your backyard. And normally, on a day like this, there's 
a minimum amount of traffic that comes down this road. But on my way down here, the traffic was insane. Um, probably because it is pretty nice out. People are out and about. But the conditions uh, and weather being wet and damp and rain might you might think that would keep people indoors but not up in Canada we're a very residual bunch of individuals and cultures up in Canada I'm thinking some that come from warmer weathers probably would hesitate to come out at any time in the winter time but they still live here for the reason of freedom and that freedom should never be compromised, never be taken away, and it should never be questioned. Because even with the indigenous community and the white community and all the other different colors of the rainbow communities, isn't that what it's all about? It's about being a community? Because, quite honestly, how does one even fathom living on a planet of such beauty and diversity and try and turn it into a war zone um it it it's inhuman and and well it shouldn't be what it is so let's think into the future 2023 24 25 i'm hoping by 25 I have over 3 million viewers and subscribers to this channel because in 2023 there is going to be a plethora of information and commentary coming from this station. UIC Studio 33 up in Canada. I'm Dominic Raphael and I say cheers. Well, that's it for the day. This is Dominic Raphael, and this is up in Canada, in an undisclosed location, or is it? So cheers.